is up you guys it's Amina welcome back to my channel today I'm coming at you with a colorful blue look I know that it's fall but blue is a happy color I need some like happy colors to be vibes on my face right now so you know um blue <laughs> I went ahead and did my foundation concealer and bronzer so I just wanted to get like the basic skin stuff out of the way that way we can do like the blush and the other colorful things that go with it you know once we see the final look okay okay so what we're gonna do first for the eyes is we are starting off with the nyx ultimate brights palette and i tried so hard not to use this again but i couldn't um <laughs> i'm gonna mix together the brightest blue shade right here and this dark purple just a little bit of both and i'm gonna blend that up in the crease area and the reason I'm mixing the purple in there is because I want a matte dark blue in my sh my crease but I don't own a matte dark blue and I feel like together these give me a pretty good wheel of combo I'm gonna grab a mirror this is actually a really easy eye look it's just a matter of being willing to play with the colors. I actually feel like the blues in this palette are some of the best quality shades in the palette, which is crazy to me because when I think about eyeshadows, I don't kind of expect blues to be the best. Now that you've got that down, I'm going to go into my Alamar Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. First, I'm dipping into the dark blue in the palette, which is Verdero, right here. Can you bet that I don't know what that means? Because I don't, or if that's how you pronounce it, but we're going to the dark blue. And I'm going to go ahead and dip into that shade right here. And this is going to go in the inner and outer corners. I'm gonna go ahead and go back into my blending brush and just kind of go right over the edges of that. And then on the center of my lid, we are taking the shade Celia right here, which is such a stunning shade. It's not quite as teal as you think it might be just from looking at it in the pan. And that's gonna go right on the center. Here comes to my room last night and I just practiced this look and he goes, you look like a raccoon. After you have that down, do what you will. I'm going to take a little bit more of my blue and kind of go roughly right in here. Making sure everything is kind of uh, relatively soft. Now I'm going to go on to my bottom lash line and go in with our bright blue and just blend that under there. I'm going to go back into Celia and take her on the inner corner. Don't get it in your eye. I'm going to go back in and apply more Veradero on my eyelid up here. On the inner corner. It is sparkly and we want to make sure that you can always see the sparkles. I went in with my Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter, and this is the one in collaboration with Nikki Tutorials. I love this one so much. Um, so I'm going to take that on my inner corner, and I'm just going to go ahead and go in with that same brush that I've been using because I don't mind the um, green and blue tint. 
being on there. And this is going to be our lovely inner corner highlight. And my cheekbones really quickly. to use my Fenty Kilowatt Duo and I'm going to lightly dip into the orange shade over here. I'm just going to take a little bit of that. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I have the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in Lustrous Sapphire and it's just a very true cobalt blue. And I want to go ahead and try to use that on the lower lash line. I'm going to go into the Maybelline Voluminous Lash Maybelline, incorrect. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise on my top lashes really quickly. So for my lower lash line, I want to accent the blue on the waterline and I'm going to use the also L'Oreal Luminous Original Mascara in Cobalt Blue. I think it's such a subtle way to add a great little pop of color. These colored mascaras also are so fun on like no makeup makeup days because you can use them and your makeup will still be really low-key and subtle but if you look closely enough you have a pop of blue you know i'm going to put some brown gel on i'm gonna go ahead and apply the cover girl melting pout matte lipstick in an unknown shade it's a pinky nude And on top of the lipstick, I'm going to use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine in the shade Berry Brown. I feel like it's identical to the lipstick, just glossier. So it's very, very summery and very, very bright, but that's why I like it. Um, we've got a fun little dress on that I still have yet to wear at my house. But, you know, if you have a party to go to, if you want to be a mermaid for Halloween, just throw some scales on there and you'll be good. But I love this look. I love any blue, bright makeup. I am who I am. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you, thank you. And I will catch you guys around in my next video. Thank you. Bye, guys. Ow. Sit in the trail, Gina.